A little over 10 years ago, in fact in 2003, I coined this term called One Health to kind of describe this interrelationship between the health of the planet and the health of people and everything that lives on it. It started out with an article in the Washington Post about great apes dying of Ebola. So it was a previous outbreak of Ebola that was killing great apes, gorillas and chimpanzees, and then getting into people. It's often called the bushmeat trade, this relationship between people hunting animals and wildlife, especially in tropical forests. Now, people hunt all over the world, but in particular areas of the world, the hot spots for emerging diseases, it becomes very dangerous because diseases like Ebola uh, come out of some of those areas and get into people and start human outbreaks that then can spread from country to country. And so this is why we're really capturing this idea of One Health. It's not just the health of people or just the health of animals, but what's happening to the environment when you harvest all these animals and take them out of the wild. It changes the dynamics of the forest. That might allow for diseases to emerge too. So hence why we're calling this and we're celebrating, uh, at least on an annual basis, this idea of One Health with One Health Day.